here we are back again i know <laughs> my setting looks very odd and scary i am aware but anyways here we are with our first scary <laughs> makeup look sorry i'm trying to stay serious okay we will be making our face into a purge mask and i'm going to be doing that by taking this fluffy brush taking some red eyeshadow as well as some red lipstick. And we are gonna use that to paint our faces. First, we're gonna do an X over our eyes. I am experimenting, honestly, when it comes to this one. I was contemplating just putting the lipstick on my face directly. And I think that that might be what I have to do, so. unconventional i know but i think i might have to change my current setup oh gosh okay uh now i think we're gonna have to switch to regular <laughs> there we go i'm sorry guys i really tried to do something scary but it just wasn't agreeing with me Oh my gosh, and I can't draw an X either. That's okay, you can look a little messed up. Here's what it's looking like. We're gonna continue to outline the rest of our face using the lipstick. And of course we have to make it an actual mask, so we're gonna have to round it out at the top. Okay. Now we're gonna use the eyeshadow to blend it out, which might be a bit hard because this is lipstick. Okay, crazy, scary, I know. Now we're going to add some white to give it a bit of a neon effect and hopefully bring my mask to life. Okay, here we go. I, as long as I think I don't have any white eyeliner, so this is just gonna have to work for now. I think my white is starting to get a, a bit too pink and I think I'm going to have to use more red to define my pink, I mean my red. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ooh, spooky. <laughs> Definitely interesting. So we are going to go back with our brush and our red lipstick. 
and we're hopefully going to bring more of that red out on the sides. Let's see how it looks with the lights off. <laughs> this is, I definitely messed up a bit. I think I put too much red here and I also should have bought in some kind of pen for the red. But here is my look. It is a purge mask. I didn't know what sweater charges were. A uh, hoodie. I'll stay in this lighting. But this is my first scary Halloween uh, makeup look. And here's my next. Hey guys, I'm back with my second scary look. I don't really know if this super counts as scary, but it's something. I will be a clown. First, to help our clown look, we are going to rosy our cheeks. So I'm going to go into my Uvia's Place blush. I'm going to take this lighter brush, lighter blush, sort of pack it on in one spot in a circle. Right here. And we're going to do the same to the other one. Hopefully these look even. Then I'm going to take a little bit of the darker blush and sort of go around it. Guys, we are now moving on to our eyeshadow. I'm going to be doing a purple look because purple is my favorite color. And as you can see, I tried to look for something purple and dark. I don't really know what clowns wear, so this is what I ended up with anyways okay we're going to take a purple color with no shimmer and we're going to put that on the crease of our eyes as well as um spreading it out a bit i kind of want to like circle around the eye a bit because we're going to leave this spot in the middle for our shimmer in a second And to the other eye. So I'm going to blow it out a bit more because I want that purple to be visible. I want to make sure it's even. Okay. Now I'm going to use a different brush. And you're going to apply a shimmer in the middle. All right, there we go. Now back with our non-shimmery purple, we are going to extend it under our eye. You know I love a good eyeshadow on the under eye. There we go. Into the other eye. Now we're going to give ourselves a little, would I say a wing? I think so. I've been doing these wings a lot, honestly. I really like them, really like the way they make my eye look, but of course, because I don't know how to use um, liquid eyeliner, I just use a pencil instead. Start back here, using my bottom, um, my bottom lash line to make the point. And then drag that black under your eye. It looks a little messy. It's exactly why I blend it out. We're gonna do the same over here. That's not even. I'm gonna try to make them even. This is like what I do. Don't do eyeliner, cause. A lot of people say like their eyebrows are like sisters and not twins. When I do eyeliner, they're not blood related. They're like not from the same lineage, not the same race. Like they have nothing in common. And then we're going to use this sort of 
scattered brush to blend that out. Be careful to keep the brush on the lash line where you applied the black so it doesn't mess with the eyeshadow. Okay, next we're going to do our eyelashes and then it's time to make this face a bit more clown-like. Okay, now to make this makeup look a bit more clown-like, I will be adding these lines on my faces, similar to the ones that clowns do with their makeup. You see what I mean? It's looking very interesting, right? Of course. Okay, now I'm gonna give this a chance to dry because it is old and chunky and I don't want it to disturb the rest of my makeup. Okay, now with ooh, the eyeliner drying, I'm going to give myself a clown nose again with the eyeliner. Okay, now I think I've given it some time, so we are going to fill in our little spikes here. All right, now I kind of want to put a little bit of the shine, so I'm going to go back to it. Okay, now to give my clown a little glam, we're going to use this Radiant Liquid Eyeshadow. We're gonna do just a little dot right here. And then in the middle of my nose. All right, now it is time for my lips. I'm going to do a brown lip liner and then I'm actually going to extend it out a bit to give myself a sort of menacing smile. All right, here we go. And now we're going to extend it. Okay, my makeup doesn't seem to want to cooperate right now. So I think we're going to have to darken this. But I'm just using a black lip liner to extend it. And then I'll also use it to darken my lip liner on here. Now I'm going to blend it out because this looks a little bit crazy. And now we are going to do a red lip because what's a clown without a red lip? I'm going to use my Fenty Beauty lip stain first. Before I forget, I just want to add some more of this gold to the sides right here. And then we are coming in hot with some red, ooh, red lipstick. Here's my clown. All right, it is time for our next and final scary look, which is a skull. Here we go. Hey guys, it's Muji, and I'm back with my 
final sexy scary look and today we are going to become a skull i'm not really sure if i want to go full on tate landon is that his last name tate landon i think it is i hope i hope that's his last name please guys if you watch american horror story and i, and I got his name wrong please don't attack me thanks love you guys but anyways anyways today we are becoming a skull so you are Besides your base, you're only gonna need black. So I have two black eyeshadows, eyeliner, my eyebrow pencil, and a black pencil. And of course, a brush, sort of messy brush to blend it all out. Okay. We're going to start by basically just drawing out everything that we are later going to fill in with eyeshadow. So I'm going to use this um, eye pencil and then we can go in with, I wouldn't say the liquid eyeliner, I'd say more, this is a thick eyeliner. So I think because this is thicker, it gives you more coverage and I don't know about less mess, but I feel like this may be a, lit, a little bit easier compared to just the um, liquid eyeliner. So we're going to start by creating our eye sockets. All right, this is our look. I know it looks a bit goofy now, that's so how we're gonna fill it in. But you wanna start with your eyebrows and basically sort of use your the top part of your brow to make a point upward. I'm going to um, start to draw the line downward to circle your eye, just straight down. And then you wanna, of course, follow your natural eye. If you're like me, you have some bags under your eyes, so I'm going to circle those. And then we're going to continue up here. Basically, just follow your natural brow down and then circle it over here. Okay, let's hope those are even. I may just want to fix it if it's looking a little wonky. My eyes, <laughs> my eyes are misshapen and that's okay. I can admit that to myself. My eyes are misshapen right now. Next, we're going to move on to making our jaw. I'm just gonna follow the natural way that my jaw goes. I'm gonna go down, not all the way though. All right, now we're gonna move on to our nose. You're gonna circle your nose basically and you're gonna make um, lines at the side. Next, we're going to connect our little jaw to our mouth. All right. Now for the lines on our mouth, I'm not gonna use this pencil. I don't think it will show up very well. Instead, I'm going to use the liquid eyeliner. This is from e.l.f. and it's black. And then keep extending um, the lines through here. Not all the way up to the jaw, but just through these little lines that we made before. But now we're going to move on to filling out our eyes, nose. So I'm going to use this thicker eyeliner pencil and I'm going to like fill in the um, edges. All right, <laughs> I've thickened it out. Now we're going to do the same to the other side. I let it sit. I'm going to do my eyeshadow. I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I love a good and simple black eyeshadow look. Now we're going to take our black brush and just give ourselves a little bit of eyeshadow. I'm gonna take the LA Colors Lily. I'm gonna take this black right here. It has a little bit of shimmer, so I'm gonna put that right on here. And because I like to take it a step further, we're going to go in with 
another LA Colors palette. This is a bit of an older one. So this black does not have a shine to it. Gonna apply that in our crease. Now we're going to take that same black, not the shimmery one, and we're not the shimmery one, we're gonna move that under our eyes. <laughs> All right, we're gonna pick up our eyeliner again, use it to define our draw. Now it is time to finally blend this look out. Now you wanna take um, your brush when you're blending, sort of drag out some of your makeup. Next, we're going to give ourselves some highlight just on the tip of our nose though. Next, it's time for our eyelashes. All right, so here I look with my eyelashes done. I think doing my lashes definitely brought this life a bit more, but I kind of want a little bit of pop coming towards my eyes. So I'm going to use my highlighter. I'm going to use it right here on the bottom corner of my eye. do the same to the top and blend it out just you kind of just want to dab it on there you don't really want to blend it in with the black All right, so here's our skull look finished. I think this falls a little bit more towards the sexy side rather than scary. I really struggled with this mouth. I was contemplating between making them teeth and just doing them lines and I settled on this interesting mess. So I'm really sorry that I couldn't give you guys a nice cohesive look for the teeth. But besides that, I think the eyes are the real winner. They look really nice. Thank you for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Uh, tell me what you're gonna go as for Halloween. If you don't celebrate Halloween, tell me what you do on Halloween instead. Check out my Instagram where I will be posting my outfit for Halloween. I don't know what I am yet, so I can't tell you guys, but when I know, I might post a little sneak peek on my Instagram story and check out my TikTok because I will definitely be recording um, TikToks in my outfit. And thank you for watching. Bye. Love you guys.